Once you've done all the steps, you're ready to publish your video. Depending on your version of Microsoft Movie Maker, you're going to be going over to the File menu and selecting either Save Movie File or Export or Publish. All three of those will do the same thing. In this version, it says Save Movie File, so I just click right there. And up pops a dialog box asking you uh, where you're going to be saving the, the file. So you hit Next. I'm going to be saving mine to the desktop. And it also asks you to give your movie a name. I'm going to call mine World Hunger. You click Next. And then uh, up pops this dialog box asking for options. We recommend that you choose a very high setting for bitrate. Bitrate is how much information is being put into the video per second. Uh, the highest one on this version is 2.1. You might find other versions of Microsoft Movie Maker that offer bit rates of up to 3.0 megabits per second, which is quite high, and that'd be fine for your movie. The higher the bit rate you select to save, the more information is put into the file. When you then upload it to YouTube or share it with friends and family, the video will look much sharper and the sound will be much clearer for them to hear. So I'm going to hit uh, Video for Local Playback, 2.1 megabits per second, and then hit Next. And the movie starts saving. I'm not going to wait for the entire time for the movie to go through the save process. But once we're set, we're going to have the, this file right here on the desktop, World Hunger, will be available to be, uh, to be used. And that's it for using Movie Maker. Mm -hmm.